Well, people are still cleaning up after flooding devastated McCook Lake in June, but improvements are starting to show. Cutlerland's Jordan DeSmith shows us the progress in the North Sioux City neighborhood that experienced an unprecedented amount of destruction. Immediately after the flooding that hit McCook Lake in June, no one could access North Shore Drive. Since then, crews have put in a temporary fix, but access is still restricted. So far, the temporary uh, gravel road you see that's in place behind us is something the city put in, in perspective for emergency mode. Emergency mode is getting the infrastructure back in place, sewer, water, gas, uh, so people can move back into the residences. Right now, only residents and contractors are allowed in, but just having access to the neighborhood is a step in the right direction. Our city guys that normally work on streets and water lines and those kind of things um, are doing a phenomenal job at switching over to working in a disaster area. Um, our police force is, is being amazing and supportive, and so that is really helpful. But officials won't know how long it will take for North Shore Drive to return to normal until they find out how much relief they will receive from FEMA. I wish I had that answer for you. I don't think anybody in the city can answer that right now until a declaration has been signed by the president. Uh, once that's signed, I think hopefully we'll get some more answers from FEMA. But until that's signed by the president of the United States, we're not going to have that answer. For now, neighbors will just need to stick together. And as long as everybody works together, I think we'll get through this. At McCook Lake, Jordan DeSmit, Kelloland News. And with the gravel road in place now, there are some residents on North Shore Drive who are able to stay in their homes.